Welcome to Hard Chat. I'm joined by one hit wonder, James Blunt. Thanks for joining <laughs> Pleasure, Treasure. Let's chat. Hard! Now, your surname is actually Blount. Did you... Ooh, that's aggravating. Did you change it to Blunt so it wouldn't rhyme with Count? That's what I said myself. That's... You're using my own jokes. Oh, really? It's pronounced Blunt, whichever way you spell it. Anyone in the know knows that. Sorry, I just didn't research you that heavily. <laughs> At the end of the music video, You're Beautiful, the I character... Know one, yeah. yeah, the character kills himself. Was that because he had just heard the song? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, you have a new album out called After Love. Yes. What's After Love? It sounds like something that would make you wash your sheets. Yeah, you're totally right. It's uh, the time after a man and a woman have been close and you're lying there wondering when exactly you can go to sleep. We need to change the sheets because it's covered in after love. So, exactly. Like, you're, you're I... maybe the one with the, the stuff you're talking about. I'm the one rolled over beside you asleep. Because you were satisfied. Just I'm the one who, who won that race. Now, you worked with Ed Sheeran on the new album. Was that because he needed to fix it? Everyone knows that I taught him everything he knows already. Yeah. So I was doing him a favour. Yeah. You always got to help out the redheads. He needed an association with my name. Otherwise, he wouldn't be where he is now. <laughs> Why are you smirking? Because what you said is really good. <laughs> now, you're really good at writing great comebacks on Twitter. Wouldn't it be easier to write great songs? Shit, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, because if you just wrote great songs, you wouldn't have to constantly ping away at people. Like Paul McCartney is not constantly in a Twitter feud with anyone. He's just... But if those guys are still searching for the big hit, aren't they? I've had the big hit, so I can, you know, concentrate on other things. You were a judge on The X Factor where you criticised other people's music. <laughs> Isn't that the pot calling the kettle shit? <laughs> no, I think I'm therefore very qualified to, uh, to judge other people's music. I think you have hit a nail on the head. We had Chris Isaac, who only liked music from the 50s, me, who only liked my own music, and Danny Minogue, who didn't even like music at all. <laughs> you were a captain in the British Army. Is there a James Blunt equivalent in ISIS? No, but I am really hopeful that ISIS are going to claim responsibility for my music pretty soon. Yeah. They seem to claim responsibility for everything else, don't they? Every other terror attack. Exactly. <laughs> I'm getting off the hook. You have a property in Switzerland. Is that because of your passion for skiing or tax havens? Genuinely, it's a tax burden. There's a chairlift over there named after you too, is that right? Yeah, they gave me a lifetime ski pass as well, so that, you know, should the music go wrong, um, I can always uh, live, ski and work there. Hmm. Does the chairlift take you to the top of the mountain just once and then struggles to do it ever again? <laughs> despite its best efforts? It's a chairlift that you can use again and again and again, much like a song. It's, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Next year I'm installing a sound system on it to only play my music, which hopefully will keep the cues down as well. Years ago, I used to close my stand-up set by paying out your song, You're Beautiful, and it would kill every time. You presumably you play it at the end of the show so that it's time for people to leave and they... Get no, out. well, I'll just play the song and I'll just talk on top of it. I'd pretend that I was the boyfriend that you were staring at and I'd just do it every night and it would kill every time. And it's not really a question, I just wanted to say thank you. I only say also thank you because I've always said that it was the greatest parody of that song ever. All right, well, James Blunt, thanks for chatting. Hard! Thank you so much. You're welcome.